Hi, I'm Mark. And I'm Terry. And we're Escaping the Empty Nest. Hey, welcome back to our channel. We decided when we started planning our big Europe trip back in 2019 that we wanted to save money and not overspend our budget on lodging. So it was my job to find us affordable, but yet comfortable accommodations that were clean and safe. So most first time travelers are usually told to stay near the main attractions, which in Paris was the first, second, sixth, seventh, and ninth arrondissements. And we knew that it wasn't possible to stay anywhere near that that was close to everything. So we made the choice to stay at the 10th arrondissement, which the hotel we chose was near a metro stop or two that were very convenient lines to get to those major attractions that we wanted to see. Staying in the 10th meant the price of the hotel would be a quarter to a half what we'd stay in a normal tourist area. And we would also be close to the two major train stations that we'd be having to access both coming from Charles de Gaulle and moving on to Strasbourg at the end of our trip. Uh, this hotel is in a neighborhood. It felt like a, a livable area and it was close to restaurants. There was a pharmacy just within walking distance down the street. We found a couple of uh, nice uh, train stations, metro stations that were, were easy to access. And it, it was really nice. Oh, there was a grocery the store. Grocery here. Store yeah, the grocery store down the street. Just yeah, we, blocks, we stopped yeah. there and got some supplies. So we were very happy with it. Uh, we, we'd rather stay somewhere that's convenient to metro stations and convenient to a lot of other things than just somewhere that's near a tourist attraction. And saving money is a good thing too. So the hotel we decided on was the Canal St. Martin. And we were very happy with it, including the fact that it was connected to two major metro stops, both on the number two line, which is one of the most major train lines in the city. One of the train lines was above ground and the other metro stop was below ground, which means if we were tired of climbing stairs, we could always choose the stop that meant we were walking downstairs either to get to the tr metro train or coming home from it. So when we were making our plans, we had several people warn us that the hotels in Europe, the rooms were small. And the room here was not very small. It was comfortable enough. We didn't feel smashed in. Um, one of the things that we did not like was the fact that we were going into the shower with no door. Um, every time we took a shower, it seemed like the floor was flooding um, and so that was a little bit disconcerting other than that we didn't have very many qualms with the room the air conditioner didn't work very well and that's pretty typical of Europe it <laughs> seemed like just about everywhere we went we had a hard time getting the room to go below about 78 degrees and we're used to you know 72 73 you know typical Americans love our air conditioner one of the other things that we did for breakfast each day we had the option of getting breakfast there at the hotel but it was going to be a pretty expensive cost considering what we were going to be offered for breakfast so we ended up traveling through the metro and then stopping somewhere at a boulangerie or someplace to get some croissants or something like that for breakfast instead of using the hotel to get our breakfast. Now we're not trying to say that from our one experience from one hotel that this is the only budget hotel in Paris somebody should stay at. But what we are saying is you don't have to spend a fortune to find a decent hotel. In our research, you know, in those three years, I had already prepaid for this hotel. And then, you know, of course COVID happened and I had a credit there we had to uh, redeem. But there were other places I found in the meantime that if we hadn't had a, uh, a credit to this hotel, I might have moved to. One of them was a Best Western in Montmartre. We had a friend stay there recently, and he said it was a bit small, but it was fine. The staff was very nice, and he said there was a nice bar across the street. And it is a budget hotel, a little bit more expensive than the Ibis we stayed at. But it looked very nice, and the reviews were good on it. So, you know, that's definitely some place I would look at. There are other Ibis hotels even closer to the uh, train stations, but those were quite a bit more expensive, a good 40% more. And so we were staying a little bit further away, a little bit more of in that, like I said, that neighborhood, and just to save a little money and, and get more of a feel of away from the, uh, the hustle and bustle of the busy streets. So I guess what we could say is there's gonna be a lot of different hotels around. They're all gonna be in competition for your business with each other, just do your research. Um, and if you want to choose a budget hotel that's a little bit further outside, we've given you some suggestions on how to make sure it works for you. Um, otherwise, if you just need a place to put your head down for the night and you want a safe area to stay, 
this would be a good hotel to recommend. So if you have experience with other budget hotels in Paris that you'd like to share with other people, go ahead and leave a comment below and maybe somebody else will read it and appreciate it. Uh, as far as comments go, we read every single comment. We reply to every single comment. We love seeing them. So help our channel out by leaving a like, subscribe for future content on Europe and a lot of other exciting destinations. And while you're at it, go ahead and ring that bell and you will see notifications of anything new coming out. So we appreciate you being here. Thanks for watching and bye for now. now.